Hi everyone, and welcome to Johnson's Journeys, Season 6, Episode 7. Uh, you may notice we're on a slightly different starting screen. Um, those that you play the game, you'll know this is the um, the best 11 screen. Um, I thought I'd do a bit of a, a throwback uh, to start today's episode. Um, just look back at the best 11s of our time in charge of Valoranga and Ajax. Um, and I've, I've also done the where are they now um, feature thing as well. So we'll have a little flick through this um, and then we'll get into today's game with Bruges. Uh, okay, so our first uh, team was Valorenga. This is the best 11 for our first season with them. Um, I think we did half a season, so um, some of these players we used, some not so much. Um, so in goal, Revish Vili. Lundstrom, Patronen, Ajala, Nakim and Linkvist across the back. Uh, names which will be familiar to you if you've been with the channel since its origins. Uh, Lekven, Burge and Grindheim. Fred I'm home uh, behind Abdelouai. Fred I'm home I don't really agree with. I don't think we really played him after we took over. Um, as you can see he didn't really do anything compared to someone like Benteke for example on the bench who we brought in. Um, but yeah, there you go. Um, and on the bench, Sandberg, um, who was the keeper for the first half of the season before we brought in Ravish Billy. Uh, Haugen, Kieran Richardson gets a slot there. Um, was actually quite good for us when he did play. Um, Zahid, who we I think we sold. Um, Matty Taylor. And honorary mention for Jaegerbom, um, his heroics. In that cup game, um, will never be forgotten, and will always be a hero in my eyes. Um, and yeah, so that was it was a good little side actually. Got us to seventh, I believe it was, in the Norwegian Premier Division. Um, and if we look at the where are they now? Um, Revish Billy, Lundstrom, Ajala, and Matty Taylor are still at Valerenga, uh, which is nice to see. Um, Revish Vili, Ajala and Taylor were players that I personally brought in, so uh, it's good to see my um, my uh, t uh, transfers were, were good. Um, Sander Burge is currently playing for Inter Milan. He's had a good little career, hasn't he? Um, Burge was our player, and then we sold him uh, to Liverpool, but got him back on loan for the year. Um, and then he had a couple of years with Liverpool, um, and then has moved to Inter Milan, where he's not really doing anything. So um, I might try and get a reunion with Sander Burge at some point. He's a really good player. Um, Zahid's at Bastia. Nakim is obviously at Club Bruges. Haugen's at Dundee. Lechven's at Bodo. Sandberg's at Dynamo Minsk. Linkfist at Wimbledon. And all of these players at the bottom uh, have now retired. Patron and Grindheim. Fred Holm, Abdelouai, Richardson, Benteke and Jaeger Bomb. Uh, so yeah, good, good batch of players uh, on that one. Um, and if we look at... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, God. Cut this out. And if we look at the team for the second season, um, it's not too dissimilar. Well, the back five is the same. Rose Billy, Lundstrom, Nakim, Ajala, Petronin and Linkvist. In the midfield, it was Falk Larsen, Comradson and Colette, with Marco Larsen behind Hugo Chukwu, obviously. Um, 18 goals in 26 games. One of the best free signings I think I've probably ever made on this game. Um, absolute hero. Um on the bench, Haug, Browning, Grintheim, Benteke, Donham, Abdelouai and Thor, who's another heroic fullback that we signed. Um, he was quite good actually, wasn't he, Thor? Um, and this was obviously the team that guided us to second in the league. Um, Abdelouai making his only his second appearance of the season in the last game of the season, um, scored the winner and got us to second. Um, which was just brilliant, absolute scenes. If you've not seen the Valorenga stuff, um, the production quality isn't the best, but um, some of the performances and the, especially that second season when we we were in some 
crazy form. Um, it's well worth a watch. Go back and check that out if, if that does interest you. Um, and we'll have a look at the where are they now. Um, again, Rivershvili, Lundstrom, Ajala, Colette and Marco Larson are still at Valorenga as well. Another two players I bought in and um, have been there for a while now. Uh, Nakim and Ugo Chukwu is obviously at Bruges as well. Brown in at Strom's Godset, Falk Larson at Lilstrom, Comradson at Haugesund, Thor's still playing, Christian Sund, Haug at Frederikstad, Linkvist at Wimbledon, obviously. Um, and again, these players at the bottom have retired. Um, Donham has retired, in addition to the other ones. Um, so yeah, it's a lovely little, little throwback. Um, some really talented players in that bunch. Um, now we will look at the Ajax best 11. Um, this was our first season at Ajax. Uh, again, we joined sort of halfway through the season. Um, so it's Pickford in goal, Lang, Forlen, Nakim, and Woodenberg, Godelge, and Oliveira, Medeiros, Klaassen, Al Ghazi, and Sir Huis. Um, some big performers in that side. Mainly the front four, El Ghazi, Klaas and Medeiros and Sir Huis. Um, apart from Medeiros who just misses out on uh, that. Uh, they all scored over 10 goals and in, in, and played over 40 games nearly each. So um, We had the European run, I think we had a cup run as well. So it was a highly, there was a lot going on in that. As soon as I joined it was, it was crazy. Um, and the bench, Onana who was the goalkeeper until I joined, and then obviously I brought in Pickford, um, Iskirdos, who started until I brought in Nakim, um, Penner, who started until I brought in Oliveira. Um, three key signings there. Um, Christian Rodriguez, the left winger. Hugo Chukwu makes it on there, even though he was never that great for Ajax. Um, Aldrete was the backup left back, and Zivkovic as well. Bit of a football manager Hall of Famer, but never really hit it off uh, under my management um, and if we take a look at the where are they now um, people have got an 18 remember, and remember the side that lifted the Dutch Cup that's right yeah um, so Oliveira Goodelge and Penna are still with the club although as I think I mentioned in a previous episode of this series Penna obviously we had then we sold and then we left and the new manager brought him back which is bit of a strange one but um, three good central midfielders there so um, Oliveira as I say was one that I bought in Klaassen um, moved to Spurs just after we left El Ghazi to Milan uh, and Medeiros at Liverpool all players that were part of the exodus after I left uh, Woodenberg and Onana are at Stad Ren oh so Woodenberg's left one a player that was always um, always had interest but one I was always reluctant to let go but um, has now joined Anana at Rene. Is Kyrgios uh, is at Spaniel, Sehuis at Everton and Lang at Newcastle again Sehuis and Lang um, left at when I did. Naki Manuguchukwu at Club Bruges obviously Aldrete at Monterey, Pickford's also left um, now back in England with Swansea um, Zivkovic has moved to their rivals PSV and Forlan is in uh, Saudi Arabia, is it? Yeah. Um, and Christian Rodriguez has presumably retired. Yeah, he has, yeah. Um, had a spell at Coventry after he left us. That's strange. Um, so, yeah, that was a, a good side. We we didn't win the league. We came... Did we come second that year? I think we came second that year. Um, I took over and we were like 12th. Um, so where's the team of the year there it is um, and then our second season um, so the back seven oh no sorry it's exactly the same as the year before um, apart from James Wilson uh, up front instead of Sir Huis uh, so Pickford Langner Kim Fall in Woodenberg Godelge Oliveira Medeiros Klaas and El Ghazi and James Wilson um, again loads of appearances we had again we had Europe cup runs um, the front four all this time did bag over 10 goals 
Clarson and Wilson nearly hit 20. Um, Clarson had a mad bit of form at some point. Um, but on the bench, Frank Savor, Vitterini, Cherney, Gruick, Sehuis, Jemison, and Hugo Chukwu makes it again with a better return than the season before. Um, I think he scored the goal that won us the league, I think. I'm sure that happened. Um, so, yeah, some players. Cherney, obviously, is, is now with us. Um, so, yeah, we'll look at the... Where are they now? Um, we won the Eredivisie and the Dutch Cup, and I think we won the Super Cup as well that year. So we technically won the double... Uh, treble, even. Um... Olivier and Goodell are still there, obviously. Savoy is still there. Um, he was a young keeper I got on a free transfer and has great potential. Someone I've looked at bringing to Bruges, but we're well stocked in terms of keepers. Uh, and Jemison still there as well, a player I brought in in the second season. Klaassen at Spurs, Elgazi at Milan, obviously, as we know. Medeiros at Liverpool. Vitorini uh, was only on loan for us um, and has now joined into Milan, so he's playing with. Sander Burge. Uh, James Wilson left as well after I did. Uh, now at Leicester. Woodenberg obviously left. See who he's left. Gruick again was only on loan um, and did agree that move to Olympiacos while he was on loan at us. His contract was running out, I think. So um, Lang at Newcastle. Nakim Choney and Hugo Chukwu at Bruges, obviously. And Pickford at Swansea. Fall and Al Etihad. Interesting, yeah. Um, and what I'll also do is I'll check the, the overall best 11. Um, interestingly, the Valorenga one does take our, our 5 well, five four one ish sort of formation. Um, and we'll see how many of players that we used made into this um, into the overall best 11. So Revishvili is there in goal. Lundstrom is there at right back. Ajala and Nakim. Um, Bergan isn't one of ours though um, who is he Stromsgod set oh he had a year on loan there recently and so he makes the best 11 Ivan Nasberg is at the left back spot not one of ours is there currently has been there for a couple of years looks like he's coming into the good job of replacing Lindqvist finally so uh, Conradson, Grindheim and Burge make up the midfield, probably rightly so, yeah. Um, Austensen plays as the attacking midfielder. Um, he's at Rosenborg now. Had a couple of years at Valerenga. Looks like he, yeah, he played quite well actually. Good bit of business from them as well, getting him in on the cheap from Frederikstad and selling him on for about a million pound profit to Rosenborg, so tidy business um, and Abdelou I leads the line with pretty much a goal every other game over his career um, and on the bench Sandberg Patron and Lindqvist Collett Fred Einholm Christopher Lindkist not Kvist uh, is a right back who had a year there um, before he was sold on to Bodo um, yeah looks looks okay and Terence Boyd um a name I recognise actually. Um thirty year old American, yeah that's that's right. Red Bull Leipzig. Uh joined them on a free and has since scored roughly a goal every other game every season he's played for them. So I was gonna say where's Hugo Chukru, but looking at Terence Boyd that, that makes slightly more sense. Um so yeah that's quite quite interesting. Um and if we find Ajax um, their best 11 their overall best 11 also takes our formation 4-2-3-1 um, Pickford's in goal Lang, Nakim, Fallin and Woodenberg which is our back four uh, Goodell's and Oliveira Medeiros, Klassen and El Ghazi and Sehuis leads the line so it's basically the formation of our first season um, which is strange seeing as we won the league the season after with pretty much the same team um, how Wilson Wilson doesn't get any up front but um, yeah some players Gadalj Ogarzi Klassen Pickford over 100 games for the club uh, Sirhuis about a goal every three games Madeiros a goal every four um, great returns from that front four they were incredible for us really 
Um, Onan on the bench, Jemison, who's now made a career there. Rodriguez, interesting. Danilo uh, was a player that is he still there? Player that we brought in, yeah, and has now now flourished. Uh, that was our signing there. Didn't really play much for us, but has gone on to have a solid career for them. Hugo Chukwu does make the um, the the overall best eleven. Um, is Kiedos is there and Son Hyung Min? Interesting. Um, oh, he's now at Liverpool. Must have. Oh yeah, he. Oh, oh that's a great season. Um, signed after we left. So, um, yeah. So very interesting. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that. It's not something anyone's asked for, but um, I thought it'd be, be interesting to see. Um, I'm not quite at the Antwerp game yet, so um, I'll just forward on to that one, and then I'll, I'll see you there shortly. Since the last episode, uh, we played just the one game. We played Liège in the league, and we beat them 5-1. Um, Sasa, Vanaken, and two for TriStar, and an own goal. And Vanaken also missed a penalty. Um we already scored two penalties, so uh, a bit of a crazy game. Uh, they got one back later on, but um, really good performance. Try start um, hitting a nice little bit of form again, um, and Vanaken um, scoring penalties um, since he's come back, which is great stuff. Um, today's game, then the team looks like this: um, Kajakaru is in goal. Kleiber, Briancon, Denswil and Sessegnon plays at left back. Um, Mubanje has a one match suspension, I think, for bookings. Sasa and Vanakin in midfield. Alexiev, Frick, Nelson and Tristar. Um, you might see that Kleiber's under a bid. A couple of bids, actually. Um, I realise that his contract is out at the end of the season. Um, and rather than renew it, I thought I'd just try and cash in on him. Um, so hopefully he'll be going to. Stauer Bucharest or Legia for around £3 million, um, which is a pretty decent deal. Uh, we've got Murasan to come in and replace him. Um, more than happy with that. So um, I'll bring you news of that um, if it happens before next episode or whatever. Um, I'm just going to do the one game today. Obviously, I did the where are they now thing at the start, which, is, which took up... Um, quite a bit of time so um, next episode will be the Sparta Prague Europa League game and um, whichever league game follows that not too sure off the top of my head but um, try and bring you a few more episodes of this season um, and, and yeah bring you as many many games as you can so you can see the team developing and um, hopefully uh, securing back to back wins and shooting up the table as soon as possible as well as uh, hopefully a European run as well um, we'll see what happens um, knocking it round a bit here only two minutes in Tristar on the attack Alexiev Nelson 1-0 thanks for coming cheers um, less than two minutes well just less than two minutes in um, Tristar out to Alexiev ball across Reese Nelson back post Banging finish, happy days, um, and we won the up. And that takes us to third in the table, which is massive. Um, I'm presuming all these teams are playing today, but they've they've just not scored yet because it's so early. But um, we're keeping pace on them all, which is great. Still nine points behind Anderlecht. Um, them and Genk yet to uh, taste defeat. Um, obviously, we took points off Anderlecht, but uh, we didn't beat them, so um, oh, they've just hit the post. Bloody hell! Just notice is that Gadeekin playing for them? Um, where's Lorenzo Gadeekin? It is on loan from Ajax. Um, viewers of the Ajax part of this series might remember Gadeekin, a player I signed, and I think he played a couple of games towards the end of our first. No, second season, I think. Um, now winds up at Antwerp on loan. So, oh, fair play. Blast from the past. It's been that kind of episode today, hasn't it, really? 
player with good potential. I'd be interested to see if he's um, reaching that yet. Tristar to Vanaken, hacked down by Ruiz, and the ref gets a red card out. And as I talk of Gideon, he's just been hauled off, actually, presumably to make a change to make up for them going down to 10 men. Um, so, yeah, we go in at half time, 1 0 up. Um, try and push on now, they're down to 10. Um, obviously, Antwerp were above us in the table. This game, massive, takes us a point ahead of them. Um, which is great stuff at this stage of the season um, I'm getting to the stage where I need to make a couple of changes Vanakin again looks tired Hrik as well um, uh, what do we do I'm going to bring Dojcinicnic on actually why not we'll give, give him a, a run out He's just been awarded. Oh, I don't know if he's signed it yet. Actually, um, all the youngsters in the first team squad that make the bench regularly. So there's Dojcinicnic, um, Frings, the central midfielder who we gave an appearance to last season, uh, 15 years old, and Ayuch, the 16-year-old centre back. They've all got five-star potential. Um, so I've just given them all a new contract. Uh, I've also given. Tristar a new contract, um, get him pinned down, give him a little bit of a pay rise, um, get him pinned down for the future. Um, so I've been doing a bit of admin while you've been away. Um, is that going to go in? No, it isn't, not quite. Um, coming forward again, we nearly nearly got a goal there. Dojcinicnic was involved again. Looks bright, very bright, 16 year old. Um, Antwerp on the attack. Oh, Brian Conn's just given away a penalty. Goodness sake. Down to you then, Kojikaru. Can you bail us out? Number nine stepping up for them. Um, I don't know his name. Sremsevich. Ah, oh, pops it away. Stevan Sremsevich. Um, equalises from the spot with about six minutes to play um, and that changes everything at the top of the league um, it looks like it's going to finish that way slightly disappointing um, but um, Antwerp have started the season well so to get a point away is not too bad um, although we did dominate so it's one of them um, cool, okay then right, so our next game obviously is Sparta Prague away, I want to say yeah, away in the Euro Cup um, and then we play Ustend, which I won't do um, I won't play that because I've already done Ustend this season so, I don't have I actually no, no I will do Ustend then, yeah that's fine I don't think I showed that opening day um, on on camera, so yeah, that's fine then. Sparta Prague and Ustend next episode. Panathinaikos and Cercel Bruges the episode after. Um, Nor coping and one of these two, and then Standard and Genk before the uh, winter break. So that sorts that one out nicely. Um, Cool. So, as always, thank you for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, you'd like to see more, um, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, which should be there. I think it is somewhere up there. Um, and uh, yeah, apart from that, we'll we'll see you see you on Wednesday. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.